Welcome Aquarius. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Lover's Oracle. Doesn't mean it's going to be a love reading, but if it is, it is. Mystical Wisdom card deck and the Light Seas Tarot. Okay, so Aquarius, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so three cards for Aquarius, please. You know, just apply this to however it um, relates to you in your life. Because, holy heck, we'll take that fourth card back. Um, that was so quick. Sometimes I'm shuffling and shuffling, waiting for them to come out. So, um, anyway. Yeah, apply it to whatever, to however it fits in your life. Because, you know, it might not be a relationship. It might be a friendship. It might be with your family, co-workers, yourself, whatever. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look. The first card here, look at this. Beautiful. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. It's a mind that gets in the way. Aquarius. That blooming mind. <laughs> this card here. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. And the last card here. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the gateway, sorry, for the heart is the gateway to your soul. To the soul. Goodness me, I can't even read properly now. Okay, I'm so focusing on the fact that it's this mind thing, the mind thing keeps getting in the way, right? Okay, so two cards for deep in your heart. For Aquarius, please. Deep in your heart, Aquarius. First card there. There it is. Okay, so... Sorry, my nose is itchy. I think I'm like getting a little bit of a cold. Okay, so <laughs> itching my nose on camera. That's real, real um, flash, isn't it? Anyway, Aquarius, opportunity knocks. Go for it. Opportunity knocks. Go for it. Ah, this is interesting. These two look like they're going into their heart. And this is the thing. When something knocks at your door, Aquarius, stay out of your mind. Follow your heart. Right? For it's the gateway to the soul, remember? Two cards for opportunity knocks for Aquarius, please. And remember, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. That's right. That's why it's so important to stay out of your mind, right? And go into your heart. Let it speak to you. We've got all these cards flipping over here. And now I don't know which ones are meant to come out. So one more card. Okay. Oh, that's like four cards. Come on already. Five cards. Okay. One more card for Opportunity Knocks for Aquarius, please. Two cards, that'll do. Ah, oh, three. Oh my gosh, Aquarius, you've got so much to say today. One more card. Here it is. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. See, here's the thing, right? This is why I think you're in your mind because you know you have been hurt in the past, and um, and and you don't want to go back down that track. Understandable. That is completely and utterly understandable. I get that, Aquarius. Of course you don't, right? But I think what happens is that when we do that, we end up not actually really truly living because, you know, the heart being the gateway to the soul um, allows us to live this life from the um, aspect of the soul rather than from the aspect of the human it's the soul that really wants to experience this earthly plane okay so um i think it's i really do think it's time to get up and get out of your head because i feel like this is you inside your head and in order to get out of your head you need to stand up walk towards you know the part that's brighter unlock the door because the key's right there 
okay, and walk through it. And, and that's going to help you bring some balance into your life, okay? Um, the next card we have here is Battle of the Blues. Take steps towards positive change. Battle of the Blues. Yeah, some of you are feeling really down right now. Right now. And I think, though, you've been down there for long enough. I think it's time to rise up. Okay, so two cards for Battle with the Blues. For Sag uh, not Sagittarius, sorry, Aquarius. Why did that come in? Maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Don't worry, your energy is definitely infused in these cards. So maybe you need to have a look at Sagittarius reading, though. There could be some messages in there for you. Yeah, you're holding back. See, you have this idea of what you want. You have a dream of what you want. You have this, this vision of happiness. But holding back, covering yourself up so you don't get hurt anymore, it's conflicting. How are you meant to get there when you won't open yourself up to it? How are you meant to step out into the sunlight when you won't unlock the door and walk through it? It's impossible. Right? So it's time to actually get up and move. Move towards what it is that you desire. Move towards what it is that you want. Sitting there and waiting for it to come to you is not going to work. You need to take inspired action. Okay, every time you get a sense of excitement of, yes, I want this and yes, I can do it, and, and, and you actually feel motivated, when you take action in that moment, that helps to manifest it a lot easier because you're giving the signals out, right? Right, Aquarius, Sagittarius again? What the heck? Um... Yeah, but there's, there's, and then this, this is interesting because she's, although this is a coin purse, okay, so you could be protecting your money, but I feel like it's you protecting your heart. She's holding that over her heart. And yet this one here, she's got her arms spread and going, hit me with it, right? So, yeah, it's a choice. It's a choice of how you want to receive that. Do you even really want to receive it? This is the question to ask yourself. And if you say, of course I do, how badly do you want it? That's the next question. What are you going to do to receive it? What are you going to do to open yourself up so that you're in receiving mode? Right? Because, don't forget, there is this new beginning here, yeah? New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So, if you're in here and you're blocked and you're not bringing this balance um, and the sunshine into your life, how are you meant to have the new beginning? Because you, as I said before, there are two conflicting messages here as to what you want. So what's stronger in you? What are you gonna gonna allow to lead you into this new beginning, into this new opportunity? Because it's knocking, it's knocking at the door, but you're not listening. Are you gonna get up and unlock the door and open it? And let the sun in, let the light in, let the goodness in. It's your choice, Aquarius. Absolutely your choice. New beginning. Maybe it's a Sagittarius knocking at the door. Who knows? <laughs> A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Okay. I think you're afraid of it all going belly up. It's all going to turn to custard, so it's better just not to. Oh, why bother? Just in case. Dragon, discover your courage. Yeah, discover your courage. Go for it anyway. You know, face the fear and do it anyway, right? Okay, so two cards for dragon, please. No, we don't want five cards. Just two. Two cards for dragon. For Aquarius, that's one. One more card for Aquarius for dragon, please. Okay, let's make it two. Here we go. Are you ready? Look at this. Look at this. 
right there's enough for everybody there's enough for everyone you can you can build what it is that you want right your courage your courage is what is going to get you there right go towards this new beginning Aquarius because it's there waiting for you okay you don't have to feel like you've missed out right it's up to you to create it though yeah because sitting behind the closed door and holding back that's not going to bring this in okay and it's up to you to birth this new beginning it's up to you to make it happen by being receptive to it okay we have potential think big for your future yeah a hundred percent think big you know all those dreams that you have sent off that you've manifested that you've put and you've sent out to the cosmic kitchen is there to be birthed right so really don't hold back on what it is that um, you believe you deserve because our beliefs remember this this here is going to get in the way of bringing in what is possible come in here Aquarius I've knocked a card on the floor I'll pick it up yes yeah, see I feel like this um, card here is with this being in the globe there's the ability for this to have manifested in a much bigger form but because it's kind of trapped in the globe it can't get any bigger so this is um this is really representative of what it is i feel that you believe you deserve ultimately okay because that's there and you want to create it but the belief that you deserve it is is conflicting and it's not allowing that to actually come to its full fruition so potential two cards for potential for aquarius please two cards for potential and i think when we set that bar as well we go you know and really believe that that's what we can manifest that's because we believe that's what we deserve so if we're doubting that in any which way that's that's showing us the work that we need to be doing on ourselves because it's indi indicative of um, us not believing that we are enough to receive that okay look at this we've got the ten of pentacles here as well okay and the seven of cups yeah making it sorry making a choice making a choice here because it's kind of like you're going, oh, do I want the Ten of Cups or do I want the Ten of Pentacles? Why can't you have both? Why do you have to choose? Why can't you have it all? This is you limiting yourself. This is you going, like, taking so long to actually make a choice that you're missing out on everything that is there. Because ultimately you're deserving of, of all that you can have, not one or the other, Okay. The next card here, two cards for this card, for Aquarius please. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Okay, and we have the first card out for that one is Legends. Learn from those who inspire you. Yeah. Here's the thing, Aquarius, what are you putting into your mind? What are you listening to? What are you watching? You know, if, if you're not listening to, um, you know, it could be that you need to start listening to podcasts that motivate you, that inspire you. Find mentors that are going to uplift you and give you, um, you know, stories and um, examples of how it is that people have achieved in their life, right? Um, so that you can get that inspired action going within yourself okay so two cards for legends for aquarius please two Ooh, almost dropped it on the floor um yeah okay cool yeah wow yeah see aquarius i really feel like this is telling you get into your heart okay learn to unblock it Learn to let go of what is no longer serving you that you have held on to protect you because it's not protecting you anymore. It's hindering you. Okay, this is crucial because you have this new beginning here waiting for you, a new beginning in love. 
It could even be a career. It, it's something that is going to bring you a lot of fulfillment. No, it's going to take you. But these are these are the like everyone wants these cards, right? To get them both. You've got the Ace of Cups here, and you've got the Page of Pentacles, leading you to this. What are you going to choose? Are you going to choose to do this? And even this? Are you going to stay blocked and locked away? Or are you going to open up and become receptive to this coming in? It's entirely your choice. You have the power to make your dreams come true. Just believe that you deserve it, right? And that's where the inspired action comes from. Okay, so the next card here is Archangel Raphael, provider of healing for mind, body and spirit. And this is one angel that you can call on to help you heal from any past hurts, any past heartbreaks, anything that's keeping you held in here. Okay, Archangel Michael is another good one to call on to, to give you the power to support you, to protect you. Okay, so two cards for Archangel Raphael, please. For Aquarius, two cards. Thank you. Yeah, see, this is the support. This is the support that you need so that you can ignite the passion that resides within you that has been dormant, dormant for so long. The one thing I want to say about that is that when it begins to arise in you, just take it slow. Don't set the drum on fire, okay? It can be really easy to get carried away because we become so excited um, of what the future holds that, um, you know, just, just take it step by step here, Aquarius, because uh, you don't also want to burn yourself out. That's the other thing as well. Once you find that passion, you don't want to burn yourself out. And I get it. I get it. It's like... Finally, you have this food for the soul, and it's like, I want more, 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 and then you crash and burn, or you become a bit sick of it, and it's like, nah, I don't really want that anymore. So just everything in moderation, honestly, and um, you will get, you will get to where you want to go. You will make your dreams come true, okay, because you'll begin to see your worth, and surround yourself with those who believe in you too, Right? And they'll support you, allow them to hold you up, allow them to hold space for you until you can stand on your own and walk to the beat of your own drum. And they'll be there cheering you on from the sidelines, guaranteed. Okay, Aquarius. Well, that's got to be the quickest reading on done this round, I'm sure. Anyway, I hope that helps you. Please take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.